Okay, I'm going to show you how to create your laser nameplate with your name on it. I'm in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it nameplate. First thing I want to do is I'm going to put my text in. So I'm going to grab my text tool, click once on the page, and put in my text. Then I can take my text and I'm going to go up to the transform box and I want to make it six inches wide and I want to make it a half in, or one and a quarter inches tall, 1.25. I'm going to move it out into the middle of my page so I can see. Then I'm going to pick a font that I like. So if I select my text, go up to the text box, and I can start at the first one. And if you want to scroll through, you just click inside the box while you have your text selected, and I can press the down arrow and scroll through different fonts. What I'm looking for is a nice, heavy font that doesn't have a lot of thin lines. So an example of a bad one is this one. It has lines going around the outside. The laser would cut all of those off, and it would make a big mess. So I'm looking for a nice, heavy font that I like. Depending on your setting, you're going to pick a font. So I'll go with this one. This one's nice and heavy. Should work for what I want to do. Next thing I want to do <coughs> is go up to the selection tool. I'm going to turn off the fill because I don't want the inside filled in. And I'm going to turn on the, the outline. And I'm going to make that outline very, very thin. And that's going to help with the laser when we go to start doing our cutting. So I go to a 0.25 point outline. Now I need to put in a box. So I'm going to come down, grab a box, drag it. <coughs> that box needs to be 6 inches by a half inch. I might need to go check my text. I think when I selected a new text, it made it a little bit larger. Oh, yeah. So we're going to take this back down to 6. And we can make this back to 1.25. Good. Now with that box, I want to make sure again that I have a very thin hairline outline and that the fill is turned off. Next, I'm going to take that box and I'm going to overlap my text just a little bit. I can zoom in and you can see my box is overlapping my text. I don't want to do too much because it will make my text look weird. And if I don't do enough, my text will fall off when I go to cut it with the laser. So now I'm going to select everything. And at this point, there's a window that you need. So I'm going to go up to Window, Pathfinder. Under Pathfinder, there's a drop-down menu. And there's a selection that says Make Compound Shape. We're going to take this whole thing and make it into one big shape. So now you look, it's cut off the bottom of my letters wherever I had an overlap. And it's made this into one large shape. Now we're ready to save it and then you'll have to wait your turn to go on the laser. <laughs>